What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you here is this is obviously a genuine Mont Blanc. This is a fake Mont Blanc. I've showed you. Uh, I compared my original black one to um, some of the some of the the pens that are supposed to look like Mont Blancs, but they don't actually say it. Now, what I wanted to show you on this one is that I picked this one up because it actually says Mont Blanc on it. So this one is really actually trying to pass itself off and as you can see there we also have the floating logo so a couple of things that i noticed here this is not a definitive commentary on what is or is not legit but um i thought i would just show you you know kind of between these two but then also point out some of the things that i've noticed so first of all on this one you can see here obviously it tries to mimic the name that's engraved on the top barrel now on here what you'll have is you can probably just barely see it there but on this side of the clip right there is where the serial number is engraved and it's kind of engraved in um, kind of a futuristic block style laser etching. This one puts a number here, like a serial number, on the clip itself. As far as I've always seen the, on, on the Star Walkers here, the serial number is always on the collar, not on the clip. So that's one telltale sign. The other thing, and, and it's going to be a little hard to tell without having two of them side by side, but I've noticed that the floating Mont Blanc star logo on the fake. So you can see here, I've got them just about even, um, is too small, you know, and that's gonna be hard to tell without a real one next to it, but I've seen this pretty consistently where that is a little too small. And so that's kind of another telltale sign. You can also see maybe just a little bit of difference here, although they're pretty close. The collar on the real one is a little, a little shorter. Uh, but the acrylic dome might be just a hair longer and you can see also here that the real Mont Blancs that Star logo because it's larger also has more curve to it And so you can see it. It's a little more pronounced. It's a little wider in there But then because it's it's actually three-dimensional and curved kind of domed out um, You know it kind of drops down a little further All right So the other thing here on is particular in this one because it's supposed to be just the Star Walker is that you can see here all the plating is very silverish. If it were ruthenium, it'd be more like this gunmetal color, and so everything would be more of that gunmetal color. Down here, they've kind of done that gunmetal color, and they have the knurling, which is pretty close, but uh, you know, on the real one, this is also that, that gray gunmetal color. So the fact that we've got, you know, kind of a bright silver, um, you know, worked in here in various places, that's kind of a telltale sign to me. Now, the other thing is the devil in the details. You can see everywhere that there is metal, it's gonna be a little hard to see here, but I wanted to show you that this clip, you know, everything's flat and polished, so my fingerprints are on it. You know, it's just a really, you know, everything is, is high quality. On this clip right here, you can see a little bit of wave and distortion where like the sheet metal is kind of pressed into place, but it's not really, hand lapped or anything like that to really smooth it out you know you can see a little bit of waviness there um you know it's just kind of you know a trademark of a lower quality mass produced uh piece now on the uh, last thing i will show you here is it's going to be a little hard to see and always is under the clip here there's no uh etching or embossing or anything that says mont blanc or pix or made in germany or germany those are all stamped in there sometimes and you know on this one it just says germany metal and then picks over here but i have seen legitimate mont blancs that say made in germany mont blanc just picks you know there's a variety of them it depends on when the the pen was made which is not always easy because some of these pens are in production for a very very long period of time and so the the clips can be um different even on very similar models so you know, these are just things that I found here that uh, on on these types of pens that you know they can. That's how they that's how they run. And in fact, a lot of times they actually have a legitimate uh, refill because <laughs> it's not really worthwhile to manufacture refills. And the other thing is, I think the Monte Verde refills fit Mont Blancs. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but can't happen but anyway i picked this up just to see you know how close it was and i'll be honest at at a glance you wouldn't even think that this is fake but it is it's <laughs> it, the telltale sign is that it's 15 dollars. so i just kind of wanted to bring it up be careful what you're buying out there um, especially if you're buying on ebay or used i don't know 
uh, if people are really trying to push these off on kind of the more reputable sites, but you can certainly pick these up from overseas dealers without a problem. Peter Von Panda out.